Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to continue to build the 7 degrees of freedom 3D printed human size brushless 2 kg payload quasi direct drive robot arm. And today we're going to take care of the wrist of the arm. So let's get started. And by the way, if today's build is gonna work, this should mean that entire arm should work. So I have a lot of hopes for this build. And I would like to start the assembly from this part of the wrist. This is output shaft, so here we will fix the hand, gripper and defector or whatever we want. I already installed some embedded nuts here, 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 here and also two nuts inside. These screws here, eight screws, I need them to fix the cables. So I'm going to use the cables again as in previous video. So the cables they go in these uh, two small holes, two holes here and two holes here. So there is a uh, four cables and two screws for each cable. I already installed the bearing over here and we can continue with the assembly. And to continue with the assembly we need this part which goes on top. And we should align the holes. The screws goes in one hole and in another one. And now this part with the bearing goes here. And this is our output shaft. And this output shaft goes inside this piece. And the heads of these two screws is gonna be used as the limiters. So the head screws goes inside this channel and it stops here. So this is the motion. But before installing it, I need to install the embedded nuts here, here and here. And this embedded nuts is gonna hold this piece over here. Again, this piece is in black and uh, this is because I will make this piece in carbon fiber in the future. Installed and I should do the same with this part. Now I'm going to squeeze this part between this one and this one. And we're going to fix these two parts with the four screws, two here and two here. On this cylindrical piece and on this cylindrical piece I need to mount the idler pulley for the cable. So this is how the pulley looks. So it's 3D printed part with the bearing inside. And so this one goes here. It's quite tight fit so I need to push it with a lot of force. The other pulley goes on the other side and I also should not forget to install the embedded nuts here, here and here. So for three from each side. This spacer goes here. One from this side and one from another side. To guide the cable I will install this V-slot bearing. And in this bearing I install the insert inside like this. It can fit M3 screw. So the bearing goes here. And the screw goes like this but I need to install the washers. And three more bearings go here, here and here. Just like this. They all rotate freely. So we can continue with our assembly. And the next is this piece. I have the places for the nuts. I have this smaller pulley for which I have this bearing. So the bearing goes inside. And afterwards it goes here. Later we're gonna fix it with the screws. This bearing goes here. And I have the second. It's actually mirrored part. So and one goes from one side and another one goes from another side. This is how it looks. I have these two pieces and they're going like this. Some more screws and nuts goes here. This 
these two pieces goes here and from other side and they're just supporting the bearing inside. I have these two parts, they gonna be screwed together and afterwards they should be fixed over here like this and it's gonna start to assemble the arm, the part of the arm. And now this one goes here. Embedded nuts goes into the slots one two three four and the same from the other side it looks already quite good so this one rotates like this this one rotates like this and this is basically this part of the arm this part goes in the slot over here we're gonna fix it with the screw here and from another side and afterwards we need to install this pulley over here and the same pulley from other side. This pulley has uh, the teeth over here for the timing belt which will go to the motor and uh, this part is gonna be used for the cable to roll around and in order to fix this cable inside there is a small tiny hole over here and there is uh, two holes for the screws and headless screws goes here and these uh, screws are gonna fix the cable inside. So there is embedded nuts, one here, one here. The five millimeter axis goes inside. We need uh, two pulleys in total for the two degrees of freedom. So I have two identical pulleys. And the axis of this pulley is gonna be held inside this small bearing. And this small bearing is going inside this uh, bearing holder which afterwards we're gonna screw it over here and here. So the bearing goes inside. There is places for the embedded nuts. And I also have three more pieces like this. One, two, and three. And this is because we have two pulleys, so it's two axes and uh, four ends of the axis. For each end of the axis we need a bearing. So two of these bearing holders goes here. I installed these two pieces. So here it's installed like screw, nut, screw, nut, screw, nut. And the opposite on the other side. Now these two pieces are gonna be mounted here and here from the inside. And they go in on top of each pulley. Before continuing, I need to install the cable on each pulley because if I will put the pulley inside, I would not be able to fix uh, this cable with the screw. So I need to tighten the screws with the cable and afterwards install the pulleys. So I prepared the cables. This is 0.8 millimeter cable. So the cable is fixed with the two screws and now it cannot go anywhere. The same for the second pulley as the second cable. The pulleys are prepared and now I can start the final assembly for today. So one pulley goes from one side and another pulley goes on another side. And they can rotate independently. And afterwards both these pieces should go here. And we're going to fix the pulleys with the screws from the top and bottom, basically from every side. And now I should not forget to put one screw here and another one here in order to fix this piece to the middle one. And now I need to put the cable in all the channels properly like it should be, etc. It's gonna be pain. After five hours of struggling, I managed to put the cable in its place, fix it here. And so the cable is wounded here. And I should say it's uh, super painful to do this uh, alone. It's uh, way easier to do it with someone else. 
like this you use uh, four hands. I'm pretty happy with the result. It works quite nice and uh, you see that this is differential joint. So if I move this axis, these two pulleys, they move at the same direction. But when I move this part, these two pulleys uh, moves at the same speed but in the opposite directions. So this works uh, quite well. I can show you how I can control it manually by moving the pulleys. So one of the pulley I fixed and I'm gonna move another one. And you see that both axes moves at the same time. So when I rotate uh, two pulleys at the opposite direction, in this case, this axis rotates. But when I rotate these two pulleys at the same direction, this axis rotates. So everything is works quite nice. I can show you how the cable on the pulleys works. It's uh, perfectly brake drivable. It's actually surprisingly easy to move it, to back drive it. Even though the gear ratio between this pulley and the small pulley is a three. And this is very similar to the traditional differential joint. Like here I have a simple uh, system with the three bevel gears. When I rotate these two gears at the same time, this one rotates around this axis. But if I rotate this and this gear at the opposite direction, in this case, this axis stays uh, fixed and it rotates in this direction. And the same we see here. And today we started to build this part of the robot, this one. And uh, first of all, it's super beautiful orange and black PETG piece, quite nice. I really like it. It works perfectly. This is actually differential joint. So we have two pulleys. These two pulleys is going to be controlled by the two motors. So these pulleys, they have a uh, tease for the timing belts. The timing belt is going to be here and one motor is going to be from this side. Another motor is going to be from this side. The cables are super tightened. You hear we can almost play music on them. If you would like to support my channel, you can do this either by liking video, by commenting the video, by sharing this video, or you can support me via PayPal or via Patreon. All the links in the description to this video. Special thank you to my patrons. Here are their names. Thanks to them, I have the motivation and courage to make this. And thanks to them, I will continue. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next time.